Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own instrument cables that will rival much more expensive cables. And in my opinion, these are the best cables money can buy. If you're interested in more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Later this week we'll be making microphone cables, so you don't want to miss that. For this project you'll need two quarter inch plugs, some high quality single conductor shielded cable, solder, a hobby knife, some pliers, wire cutters, and a strong wood pick that is slightly sharpened on the end. While that's true, you could make cables very quickly, there are a lot of little steps that add up to either a great sounding reliable cable or one that's plagued with problems. Let's take a look at a medium priced house brand cable from a major retailer and you can see some of the issues to address. Basically, both ends of the cable are nearly shorted out. One side is worse than the other, and if that's flexed hard, it will short out. Also, if we look at the shield wire, it's really quite sparse. The black layer is a conductive material which helps pick up where the copper wire is lacking. Today I'm using Canary GS6 cable and Neutrik quarter inch plugs. First, I'm gonna slip on my plug housing and insulator. Then I need to measure and strip off the outer layer of cable insulation. I do this with a hobby knife, but the best solution would be a pair of well-calibrated wire cutters or thermal wire strippers. Notice I'm very careful to only score the insulation. I never actually cut through and nick the wire except for the very tip of the cable. So here's a big difference between these two cables. The canary cable has a braided shielding with excellent coverage. Now I use my heavy duty wood pick to carefully separate the copper braid into two groups and I lightly twist those groups together. Don't forget to remove the layer of conductive shielding that sits under the copper braid. If that touches the inner conductor, it'll short out. Now solder the two braids together for good electrical connection. Clip off the larger of the two braids. The smaller braid will be your soldering lead. We need to measure and strip the insulation for the inner conductor. Trim enough so the conductor can curl under the contact without being obtrusive. Again, don't nick those wires as you're stripping insulation. Wires that have abrasions wear out much more quickly than those that don't. So here's my secret to soldering plugs easily onto cables. I plug the connector into a guitar pedal and it holds the plug at any angle for soldering. Trim your excess shield wires so that no strays can touch the conductor. Now, carefully insert the conductor into the plug connector so that the wires are mostly undisturbed. This is one of those little moments that add up to a gray cable. Solder the joint by pressing your iron tip to the connector and the conductor and add solder when it's hot. This will give you a perfect solder joint. Now do the same thing for the shield. These joints are very strong, even before crimping the strain relief, which I do with a pair of pliers.
Now all that's left to do is slide up the insulator, screw on the plug housing, and cable end number one is good to go. Cable end number two is the same process, so watch closely as I finish the cable. Here's our new cable compared to our old one. Enjoy your new premium instrument cable and let us know how you do making your own. If you enjoyed this video, or it helped you make some of the best cables you've ever used, come join us on Patreon for more tips and how-tos. Thanks for watching.